I am freaking hot. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lillian and today I'm going to show you guys my skincare routine. I want to tell you guys a little bit more about my skin. So I kind of have combination skin, I guess. I do have an oily T-zone, but I do get a little dry around my face, like around my cheeks and around my forehead. I also suffer from dark circles around my eyes. If you have any tips for dark circles, please let me know because your girl is struggling. I also have textured skin, like large pores on my nose, and I do have some spots on my forehead. So yeah, it's a whole list, but you know, we're working on it. We're getting better day by day, so yeah. There definitely will be an updated skincare routine maybe in a year or so, because I do change my skincare routine quite often, as I like to experiment with products a little. And once I get that perfect flawless skin that I'm working towards to, I will definitely make an updated skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit the notification bell if you want to stay updated on any of my videos. Matter of fact, you know, before we head into this video, you might as well subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Lillian's Guy to see a little bit more of my daily life. Not that it's really interesting, but you know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's just head straight into it. First things first, drink your water, guys. I carry this bottle with me everywhere I go, um, this bottle or any other reusable water bottles. I have to say though, in the Netherlands it's really easy because we can just drink tap water, our tap water is quite clean. So yeah, everybody just drinks tap water here. If you can't drink tap water in your country or in your city, then I would really invest in maybe a water bottle that has a filter in it or just carry around a one liter bottle of water. So the first thing I do in the morning is I wash my face. I wash my face with the Bayre Charcoal Face Wash. In the evening or after I wear makeup and stuff, I like to use the facial brush. This is by Vanity Planet and this is a face cleansing brush. But because I already did that the night before, I don't really need to do it in the morning as well. So I like to have like a gentle cleanse in the morning and a more thorough cleanse in the evening. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wash my face with this face wash. And one tip that I got off this YouTube video is that I massage or clean my face for one minute. And that has actually helped me a lot because you tend to focus on one area a lot. But if you have to fill a whole minute with just massaging your face, you go to other areas as well. So yeah. This is definitely another tip that I would give you guys. So what I do is I just take one pump of the face wash and I basically just massage it into my skin. Also, don't mind my nails. I know I'm missing like four nails. So now that my face is all clean, I'm gonna go in with the Hyaluronic Acid by The Ordinary. So this is basically kind of a serum that really helps you hydrate your skin. I feel like I seem so rough with my skin or with my face. I don't hurt myself, like, it just looks like I'm super rough. One thing I learned from the Ordinary products is that they tend to ball up really easily so that if you layer the products, they start like, you get like random stuff on your face basically. So to prevent that, I wash my hands in between every step, not with soap and everything. I just rinse off my hands with water and dry them. And I also wait for whatever's on my skin to dry. Cause I feel like when I do that, it doesn't happen as often. So the next product I'm gonna use is the Niacinamide Plus Zinc by The Ordinary as well. So what this does is it helps with irregularities and textured skin um, and also skin blemishes. So I don't apply as much of this as I do with the hyaluronic acid. I just pop this on my problem area, so on my forehead, on my nose, and on my chin. Okay, it's a little too much. Now I'm going to moisturize my skin. I have two moisturizers. This one is by The Ordinary. This is the Natural Moisturizing Factors plus Hyaluronic Acid. Um, so this is quite a hydrating moisturizer. But it's not the typical moisturizer formula. So I prefer to use this in the evening. But I also just use it during the day sometimes. So during the day, I usually use this one. This is Astral. I think this is a British brand because I can't find it here or I haven't seen it anywhere else but in the UK. Like literally, my skin loves this stuff. I accidentally tried it out when I was in UK with my boyfriend and I didn't bring my own moisturizer. 
So I was just using his. And I noticed that my skin started like looking way more moisturized and I was getting less spots. I was like, damn, I need to get my hands on this. So I got me like a couple of these big ones and I only use this for my face so I actually go a really long time with it. So I just grab a little like this. One more thing that I'm gonna apply to my face is SPF. So for my SPF, I use the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. This is so hard to pronounce. I don't know why it's so hard for me to pronounce this. I use the Neutrogena Hydro Boost City Protect SPF and this is SPF 25. When my skin is feeling a little more dry in the winter times, I would use the Ordinary Organic Cold Pressed Rose Hip Seed Oil. And this just helps to add that extra moisture and lock in all of the moisture. Don't mind my wretched ass nails. I know I'm missing two nails. So the first step of my skincare routine is obviously removing my makeup. So I have two products that I use to remove my makeup. The first product is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. It's like a cleansing balm that melts into like an oil and this breaks down all your makeup. It can get kind of messy and it takes a little longer. So when I'm too lazy sometimes, I just use micellar water to remove my makeup. So compad micellar water and I just remove all of my makeup like that. This is just a bit easier, quicker, less messy. So what I do is I just take a little, little like this and just rub it together and massage it onto my face. As you can see, all the makeup is coming off. I look like an oily mess. But yeah, I'm gonna do my eyes now and then I'm gonna rinse it all off with water. So now that I've rinsed off the cleansing balm, I'm gonna wash my face with my face brush. This one is from Vanity Planet and I got it for like $40. Comes in a whole set with different brushes this one is the brush for sensitive skin it's like rubber i don't know if you can see it so i use this in combination with the biore biore i don't know how the hell you pronounce this it's the charcoal face wash by biore this is what it looks like and i just put one pump and then i wash my whole face with it i like to spread it out first this is what i'm doing right now Now that my face is fully clean, we're going to exfoliate. I used to use a face scrub, but I actually stopped using it because I read that physical scrubs can be a little harsh for your skin. So now I just use chemical exfoliants. I use this exfoliating facial peeling solution by The Ordinary, the AHA 30% plus BHA 2%. It looks like blood. It clearly says leave on for no more than 10 minutes because it's a chemical exfoliant so you don't want it to damage your skin i don't want to mess up my white t-shirt so i just put this on my face like so i applied it to my skin and because the bottle says no longer than 10 minutes just to be safe i set my timer for eight as obviously it takes a while to apply it so i'm gonna put my timer on eight minutes and then i'm gonna rinse it off there we go in the meanwhile let me listen to some music time my skin is fresh it's clean it's exfoliated now we're going to moisturize but before we moisturize our face let's moisturize our lips before moisturizing my skin, I'm going to use this toner. This is by The Ordinary as well. Um, it's called the Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. I just put some on a cotton pad and wipe it all over my face. This is why you tone. Just to remove the leftover dirt on your face. Even after I cleansed my face with the cleansing balm, I washed it with the face wash and I did an exfoliator. So definitely important now I'm going to moisturize my skin the first thing that I use is the hyaluronic acid by the ordinary as well I don't know if I just have a big forehead or if I'm too dedicated but whenever I watch people do their skincare I always see them focusing on this area and then they just do this and are done with their forehead me I have to put my 
whole palms on my forehead and my face in order for the product to be over all over my face. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong or... The next product I'm gonna use is the Niacinamide and Zinc by The Ordinary as well. Oh, I forgot to mention what the hyaluronic acid is good for. Hyaluronic acid is basically like a super intense moisturizer for your skin. It helps hydrate your skin. The Niacinamide helps for textured skin. I use this basically on my T-zone. So on my forehead, on my nose, and on my chin. So the next thing I use is this Natural Moisturizing Factors, which is basically like an extra moisturizer. This is also by The Ordinary. One thing that is very important with this product is that you use a tiny amount. When it says use a pea sized amount of product, they're actually serious because at first I really didn't understand how this product worked and how so many people like this product because it just wouldn't work for me. It was very, it's a very weird texture. But the key to this product is to use as little as possible. So now that I've applied my serums and my moisturizer, I'm going to lock in all the moisture with a face oil. This is the 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil by The Ordinary as well. So what I actually do is I don't use this on my forehead, so basically just from eyebrows down. I've also read that rose hip oil is very good for your under eyes, so I like to sometimes Put a little extra under my under eyes. I struggle with very dark under eyes. And it's really annoying because when people see me without makeup, they always think like I'm tired, like really tired. Next thing I do is I grab another cotton pad and I use tea tree oil. So this is just pure tea tree oil that I bought from Holland and Barrett. I just put a couple of drops on a cotton pad and then I just wipe it over my forehead. And this is supposed to help with pimples because it works antibacterial, so it, it's supposed to help with spots. So my last step of my nighttime skincare routine is using a spot treatment. I only do this when I have a breakout, so like, now. And I use the drying lotion by Mario Badescu. And then I just apply this to all the spots on my forehead. So this is my skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you have any questions about any of the products, just leave them down below in the comments and I'll answer them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And again, don't forget to subscribe. Turn on the notification bell to stay updated on any new videos. And follow me on Instagram at Lillian's Egg Guy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!